talk about the economics of being a woman. By now, everyone knows that women only make 79 cents to the dollar, and that's actually why I shop at Forever 21, so that I can be reminded that I am forever 21 cents less valuable than a man. <laughs> Obviously, we need to narrow the wage gap, and the thigh gap, and also the baby gap. Nothing there fits me! <laughs> Who's that? Equal pay for equal work is a no-brainer. So let's talk about all the bullshit women have to go through just to make less than men. Let's start at the beginning, getting ready for work. It takes the average woman three times longer to get ready than the average man. And even longer if you're ugly. That's extra... <laughs> That's extra time a man can spend reading, exercising, or masturbating. Whereas I have to multitask. And let me tell you, it's hard to get through Angela's ashes while you're jack a on an elliptical. <laughs> I know some of you guys are probably just saying, like, well, why don't you just stop putting shit on your face? We like you better without makeup. And to that, I'll say a resounding, fuck you. Because <laughs> every time I don't wear makeup, I get asked if I'm sick. <laughs> You're like, did someone in your family die? I'm like, no, I just woke up feeling pretty and confident. Sorry, won't happen again. <laughs> Here's the sick thing. Studies show that women who wear makeup actually earn more money which those women are gonna need because makeup is expensive as fuck. <laughs> Kurt, uh, do you have any idea how much this costs? Well, what, you mean the nose job? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't yet. It took over an hour to do this tonight, and yes, I do feel better about myself with my mask on, but it's only because without it, I don't deserve love. Look. <laughs> It feels like it sometimes. I know damn well that being a woman is both awesome and a complete pain in the ass at times, but I wanted to hear it from someone who understands both sides of the gender equation, so I sat down with a friend, comedian Riley Silverman, who came out as a woman six years ago. Riley, uh, I haven't seen you for a while. It's been a long time. You really do have an interesting perspective because you lived as a man and yeah. now you're living as a woman. Do you enjoy the, the extra effort of being a woman? I think at first it was really enjoyable because like it's like part of like this like ritual and you're like, oh my god, I'm doing this. This is like this is my everyday life. And then after like a month, you're like, this is my everyday life. Has there been a spike in costs since transitioning? Everything is a little bit more money. Like everything costs more. Like haircuts cost more. Clothing is always more money for like lower quality. And then just even having to buy makeup. Like this is yeah. this adds up really fast. You're a, a pretty big fashionista. That's got to be a huge difference in your wardrobe. Yeah. Talk to me about the change in cost there. Every day, so I had to have like a different skirt. And so that's like in my morning. There's a lot of days where I'm that exact stereotypical. Like I don't have anything to wear. You know, I have a closet full of clothes. Yes. Not only would it be that I would like when I was living as a man would I just wear a pair of like jeans every day it'd be the same jeans like you'd wear the same jeans for like a month it's like how women wear bras yeah exactly do you sleep in a bra no most women don't <laughs> but I like to be I need it it's like comforting because my mom never hugged me <laughs> <laughs> it really is expensive being a woman products directed at women like lotions razors and shampoo consistently cost more than similar products directed at men because I guess it's pricey giving all of our deodorants tiny ways if it isn't shaped like a lady, then how will I know it's for me? <laughs> that literally is what They call this price discrepancy the pink tax, because I guess vaginas are pink. I don't know, mine isn't, whatever. But that's something that I don't think a lot of men ever think about, which brings me to periods. And sorry, I know I'm going to talk about periods for a second, but uh, I'm on mine, so I'll fucking do what I want! <laughs> <laughs> I'm late. A little while back... <laughs> no, a little while back we did a segment called Pay Your Tab Cab where I picked up guys from a strip club and then gave them a chance to win money by answering questions about women. At one point in their ride, I asked these men to demonstrate their knowledge of periods. Here's what happened. All right, it is time for the Red Zone Challenge. Are you ready? Excited. What we gotta do? I'm like on my period right now. Here's $50. I just need you to go inside there and just get me anything that you think will help. Okay. Go! 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 Hey! What'd you get? I got all the good stuff. Yeah? Stuffed turtle. Okay. Why this? Because when you're cramping, you need cups. You know, you're sad. And pink because? Because, girl. <laughs> okay, well, we got you right here. We got you covered. I got you the... The pads. What are those? Those look like diapers. They only had a 34 pack, and I don't know how many you use. You got me pads? Do you think I'm Mormon? What the hell is this? I don't know how they work. I'll just like 
I'll roll these up and and stick them up like they're tampons. Good. Cool. That's good. Uh, these are the essentials. You ready? Okay. Chocolate with almond. Okay. Okay. We're talking. I even got three chocolate bars. Two for you and one for me. Oh my God. That's that way so I don't have to ask for none of yours. Your, yeah. You ain't gotta ask for none of mine. We it's nice go. that you think about yourself in these times. Anything else? Oh, uh, I got your link, crazy. <laughs> I'm on my period, not suicide watch. Condolence card. Our thoughts are with you. This is a condolence card because you're going through your period? Yes. I thought you did it. You're not wrong. For somebody who ain't never had a period before, I think I did okay. You really did. You really did. Yeah. Well, I hope you get one. I hope I don't because it's a lot of shit for a period. Isn't it? it takes to look normal as a woman add up. So the next time I hear an actor from some movie complaining about, oh, I had to sit in a makeup chair for three hours to look like a monster, try and remember that we do that every day so people don't think we look like monsters. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, this is Nikki Glazer, and this is the part of the video where I tell you to watch more of my videos, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Instead, I'm just gonna look at you judgingly.